We're going to talk about the Furman W3650i inverter generator. We've been using this for a couple of years now. This will be a review what we've liked, what we haven't liked, um, the pros, the cons, the exceeded expectations, didn't meet expectations, and the wish list. To start out here, we got the fuel on off, on and off the fuel. Got the choke. Uh, of course, you pull the choke out, start it, and then push it in once it starts. Got the pull. So it is a pull start. The on off, it's on now, it's off there. Pretty simple. We got um, the eco mode, economical mode. If it is on, if it's not under load, the motor will slow down. Get, uh, the fuel will last longer. Uh, if you turn it off, it, it idles higher. We got some lights here. The bottom one's oil. If um, it's low on oil, the light will come off. We got a, the red one comes on in the middle, it's an overload. And uh, the green, the top one, just means it's, it's ready. So uh, you get a visual indication that it, you can start using something, you can start powering something up off the inverter. Here's an RV ready plug. This fits right into our uh, RV extension cord. No adapters needed, works good. We'll show you that in a little bit. We've got a worthless USB port. I think, I think we're, we're battling a little bit and you get something that's a couple years old and you see what you're missing. We've got a re reset for uh, 120 and we've got a reset for uh, DC. Got a DC plug-in, never used it, probably never will. And if you want to hook up two generators together, these are the ports for that. 110 outlet, got two of them. And we got a grounding plug. I don't know anybody has ever used a grounding plug. I've never seen anybody camping, uh, grounding their generator. So, uh, and, and we won't. Uh, and here we got a, uh, a display. The display will, will display volts, watts. We'll get in, we'll get it running and show you how it works. And then we'll hook it up and run, run the RV, run the air conditioner, show you what else we can run on the inside. And then we'll uh, give, a, give you our final thoughts on it. Okay, right now I have all the circuit breakers off in the coach, so there's no 110 power on at all. So you can see the plug matches up and plug it in. Okay, now we're going to start it up. Okay, green light is on. Okay, we're in about 72 decibels. Okay, we're going to go in and put the AC on, see how it does. We got the air conditioner set to cool. Just kicked, the air conditioner just kicked on. The microwave is on. Wait for the compressor to kick in. There we go. There's the air conditioner. Just kicked on. So the compressor did. There we go. The air is getting cooler now. Okay, let's go out here and see how we're doing. A little louder now. Okay, I think we can deem this a success. We do have the generator going along with the air conditioner and we're getting cool air out of here. And here comes Harper, Harper Dog. Um, the pros, it works. It really does work. It works pretty simply. Um, one or two, one pole most of the time. Uh, when I forgot to do the choke, it did take three pulls, two pulls of the choke off. Then I turned it on one pull and it started right up. Um, and another con is it's heavy. It's, it's, right, it's, it's right at 100 pounds and it's pretty heavy. It's pretty tough for me to lift up. I can lift it up, but I'm not sure I can get in the back of my pickup. It is easy to move around. It does have wheels. It does have a handle. So it's easy to move around once you get out of the truck. Uh, it is relatively quiet. It's not as quiet as the as the ones that cost two or three times as much. But um, it, it, it's reasonably quiet for for a, especially for a um, inverter generator this big. It, it it is pretty quiet. And really, the only the only negative thing about this unit is is the weight. Now we've used this twice boondocking. Both times it worked flawlessly. It ran everything we wanted it to run in the order we wanted it to run in our in our camper. We ran the air conditioner. We ran the coffee pot. Um, we ran the microwave. Now, I don't know that we ran the coffee pot making coffee and the microwave and the air conditioner all at the same time, but we didn't have to worry about what we were running. If I was to buy another one, I would go a dual fuel. 
I would go one that would run on propane or gas. And I think if I had my druthers, I would just do propane. I would not do the gas. Um, when I had a gas pickup and we went boondocking, it was nice because I had gas I could use in the generator or in the pickup. When I took this boondocking, I had to carry gasoline and that's just another fuel. So now I got diesel and gas and propane. It doesn't sound like a big deal, but if I could eliminate gas and just have propane to run my generator, that would make it nice and easy. Now I probably would still carry around an empty gas can for those times when it might be marginal, or if, if I was concerned about using up all the propane and not having enough, I might, I'd carry an empty gas can and use that as a backup. I would consider having an electric start. Um, my biggest drawback to those is, it seems like well, the other one I have that's electric start, that's a big one, uh, that's an open cage. The battery's always dead, so I can't ever use the electric start anyway. Got to pull start it. Um, and then some of the electric starts have a remote start. So I think if under ideal conditions, if I had a, a propane unit with a battery, electric start, and remote control start, and everything was in working order, that would be awesome. But you know what? I'm not sure that I'd keep the battery charged, not sure, sure that I would use the generator enough to keep the battery charged, and then I'm end up pull starting it anyway. So anyway, um, that'd be on my wish list, but we have this, it does fine. Uh, let me show you how I keep it clean. What I've done is I took the box. When I store this in my garage, and it's not in use, cut it out, and I just put this right over it. That's how it sits in my garage all the time. And when I when I load it up in the truck, I load it up a truck and I put this box over it. Keeps the dust and dirt off of it, makes it look clean and new. And uh, just, just a little tip. If you like this uh, video, would you please give me a thumbs up? And if you like what I'm doing and I'm trying to get more videos out there, uh, would you please subscribe? I would appreciate it. Well, we hope to see you around the campfire. Y'all take care now. Bye-bye.